So we already said that due to the inverse square law within this equation, the force against distance experiences such a shape for a graph, such a decay. The acceleration, the gravitational field strength, is dependent on this force. If the force experiences such a decay, which is essentially an inverse square law, then since the acceleration is caused by such a force, it too will experience such a decay, an inverse square law. In fact, this is very clear that the squared is still there in the denominator. So, if we need to sketch a graph of not force this time, but acceleration in meters per second squared, and we're taking this initial point as being the surface of Earth, okay, let me just sketch a diagram. R, capital R, being the radius of Earth. Let me be even more specific here. R subscript E, radius of Earth. Then that means that we're going to start off at the surface at 9.81 meters per second squared. And again, we're going to follow an inverse square law with the x-axis being an asymptote.